Like it busted loose from a car. Where the flying saucer is. Can you zoom in enough yet? I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm getting it or not. I'm, oh, the top is even metallic -y. You know, it's like aluminum. Whoever's flying it, they're flying I don't know if I'm getting it. Um, Cole, you know my camera is on this thing? Off this oh, little hotel in the I can't get it, Mom. I can't. It, it zooms a lot. Camera. Okay. It must be about uh, 3,000 feet up now, I'd say. Wow, look at that. Nobody's going to believe us except I got it on film, huh? Cole Preston, the original uploader, has no history of posting UFO videos. His YouTube channel has primarily focused on outdoor recreation and family events for the past 15 years. To watch the full video, you can visit his YouTube page. It's getting closer, bro. Oh, look, I got it. I got both of them. <laughs> this photo allegedly taken in China on September 16th, 2024, surfaced on several social media platforms this week. No other information is known, unfortunately, to give us proper context. The next video comes from Dan Richmond on Twitter, who captured footage of a bright orb in the skies over Port Huron, Michigan, a key border city between the US and Canada. Let's take a look. In last week's video, we discussed iridescent multicolored orbs that have been spotted across the lower 48 states. Could this be the same type of object now captured in Michigan? Something exploded and now this is in the sky. Oh, look, look, look. <gasps> what is that? What? Oh. What is that? Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Something exploded. Wow, what is that? Phone. I can't. I'm recording. I don't want to move. I got to record this. What is that? Oh, it left. The light left. What the f What? It left. The light just disappeared, bro. Oh, goodness. Oh, hell no. What is this? What the I don't know what that was. This footage comes from Mario Silva in Miami, Florida who captured what she describes as an explosion in the sky. A massive cloud lingers in the area, possibly smoke. Unfortunately, no further details are known at this time. <laughs> Hundreds of residents were left in awe when they spotted a mysterious object hovering over their city. Typically, such sightings occur in the dead of night, but this one appeared in broad daylight last Friday in the western Mexican city of Guadalajara, according to the Daily Mail. Numerous videos of the object have since circulated on social media. Remarkably, just a week earlier, a similar UFO was witnessed above Zitacuaro, Mexico, approximately 230 miles away. I'm curious, what are your thoughts on this intriguing phenomenon? While reviewing the aerial phenomenon in Guadalajara, I came across this TikTok video, supposedly from February 22nd of this year. It lacks narration and has little source material, so take it for what it's worth. The video zooms in on an object frozen in place, surrounded by what looks like a star field of smaller objects scattered across the daytime sky. These specks of light all appear to be the same size and glow, with only a few exceptions. So, 
Is this real or just an elaborate hoax? On the evening of November 23, 2022, Reddit user Kavanaugh Organics and their partner were walking their dog in the eastern region of Oklahoma, near Kavanaugh Hill. What they witnessed that night was completely unexpected. They described the object as hovering between 500 and 800 feet off the ground, approximately the size of a small car, with what appeared to be a pyramid-shaped top from their vantage point. Notably, there was no sound, no lights, and no visible propulsion keeping it in the air. So is this a Romulan warbird on a mission to defeat the Federation? Let us know your thoughts down below. This next sighting comes from Chris Bledsoe, a well-known figure in the UFO community. In 2005, Chris had a near-death experience that he believes altered his perception of reality, enabling him to see beings and objects that others cannot. Recently, his son uploaded footage that Chris had captured. Let's take a look. Come on, go still. Man, I'm in a bad way. I'm laying, I'm, I'm squatting. Trying to hold this camera, it's nearly straight over my head. Uh, I'm out. I gotta get still. I couldn't stand like that any longer. Look, wow. Thank you. Just a bit south of Chris, we have another Orb King, John Bell, from the YouTube channel Florida Real UFO, who is getting dangerously close to 1,000 subscribers. He recently posted a video showcasing one of the busiest night skies we've rarely seen anywhere else. Let's take a look. That's really cool, that was. And it was really bright, too. Well, that was really big. It was right to the north, too, and straight down. That was cool. Three UFOs. Right here on Florence, right now. This mysterious video appeared in my feed this week and has since vanished from Instagram, perhaps adding to its legitimacy. A man sitting in traffic captures the sight of three perfectly triangulated lights in the far distance. As he moves forward in traffic, another orb of light appears on the far right side of the video. My initial thought was Chinese lanterns, but these objects don't move. They remain incredibly still throughout the entire minute-long video. What do you make of it? In this slowed down footage provided by Twitter user Nikki Noel, we see an army Chinook helicopter emerging from behind her house with a small orb-like object directly ahead of it. According to her, this activity continued throughout the day around her home in Hamilton, Kansas. Do you think the military is trying to track the UAP?
Look at that. Holy, what is that? I am. That's not plain. That is not an airplane. You see it? That is not a satellite and that is not an airplane. I've never seen anything like that before. There's no FAA lights on it. One last thing this week. The Earth is getting a temporary second moon for a couple of months. According to an article from Space.com, Earth will capture a tiny asteroid named 2024 PT5. Unfortunately, the object is too small and dim to be visible through typical amateur telescopes and binoculars. The asteroid will begin orbiting Earth in a horseshoe shape from September 29th to November 25th and is expected to return in the year 2055. So mark your calendars for something to look forward to at the end of the month. Thanks for watching. If you have any videos or photos you'd like to share, feel free to send them to unknownskies at gmail.com, along with any details you'd like to include. See you all next week. Take care.